Alexei is slowly coming to terms with the fact that this, this is his life now. It's just him against an army of zombies. But his past still casts a shadow over his soul. If he's going to survive, he's got to say goodbye to that past. So it's time to burn that past to the ground. Yes, indeed. Alex is going back to the city of Clean. He's got a couple of Molotovs and he's just he's going to make a stop with his great uncle's apartment block. He's just going to burn it down to the ground. That's his only option. If he really wants to survive, if he really wants to move on, if he really, really wants to become a hardened survivor, then he's, he's just got to say goodbye to his past. And the only way he's going to be able to do that in this new world is to destroy it. Okay, so we, Alex is here and he really didn't think he would uh, be back here so soon. He never, I mean, he kind of thought that he would just never, ever come back again. And yet here he is, barely a week later. It has been a long and slow drive. Alex has had to drive past literally hundreds, maybe even thousands of zombies just to get here. It's taken him all morning. And you know, it just, it just didn't really bother him it's all it's the new norm now it is all part of the day job okay so it is time the moment is finally here it is time to set fire to the past to say goodbye to the past to erase the past goodbye so Alex is just going to stand here and he's just going to watch this building go up in flames. And he's going to think about his past, how he got here, how he survived. But he's going to also think what happened to his family, what happened to the world. What is this place now? He's going to think about his past, his former life. That Alexei Popov, he's dead now. Okay, well, I think Alex has had enough. Goodbye, great uncle, and thank you for the memories. Okay, so Alexi, oh, man, he is tired and he is emotional. It has been a long day, but he really, really wants to find a beer. And he really needs to find somewhere safe to sleep. So we're going to jump out here. We're back over the side, this side of the river. It is too dark, it's too late in the day to drive all the way back home. Uh, so we're gonna try and make this place safe. And we're gonna clear out the zombies. And we're gonna well, take over one of these houses. Hopefully we can find a six pack or something in the kitchen. But we're gonna clear the area. We're gonna find somewhere safe for Alexi to spend the night. Okay, well that is already one spear gun. Now Alexi came prepared. We've got three spears with a hunting knife. But that carpentry skill is pretty, pretty low. It's almost non-existent. So those spears, yeah, they're just not built to last. So it's back with the police baton. I think that's most of the zombies killed that were following. But of course, yeah, there's always another zombie. Just up the road here, there is a house that has uh, some boarded up windows. So that is gonna be a really, really good spot. Uh, it's barricaded, it's defended. It's gonna be, a, hopefully, a safe place for Alexi to sleep. But he's got work to do first. Okay, well, there we go. Hopefully, no, there's more. There's more work to do. But I think Alexi's got this. Coming in from all directions, man. Okay, I think that's it. I think that is it. Okay, so it is dark. Oof. But that zombie was right on top of a lexi then. Oof, that's pretty emphatic. We've got a torch, but we've kind of almost completely run out of uh, juice and we've got no spare battery, so we could be blundering around inside this house in complete darkness. 
Okay, this window's just got one barricade. There's definitely at least one, maybe two zombies in there. This is dangerous. Okay, so Lexi's had a change of plan. We're going to unbarricade the front door. This is just in case if we need to make a pretty sharp exit. Uh, it's going to be much easier to run through a door than it is uh, to try and jump through a window. Now, Alexis's uh, torch, it's run out of juice, it's run out of battery, so we're going with a lighter. Let's see what is on the other side of that door. It looks ridiculous, we've got a police bat on in one hand and a lighter in the other, and that is not going to help Alexis's nerves. Now, there's a power cut. Oh my god, this is, this is so dicey. There's a power cut, so this is so dark. This is tense. I can hear voice... Well, it's not voices, is it? I can hear gurgles and groans all around. I can't see them. Okay, there's one. Could be some upstairs. There's definitely one in this bathroom here. Kind of part of me does not want to go upstairs. I'm shutting that door in case any zombies come downstairs. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna have to go upstairs. Oh my god. I cannot see a thing. I'm going downstairs. I think the light has gone out already. Okay, we're going to try and shout. We're going to try and shout. Let's see if anything comes downstairs. If nothing comes downstairs, then we know the corridor is actually clear. I'm not going to risk it. Alexi's not going to risk it. We're going to take this chair and he's going to try and get a couple of hours sleep in the bathroom. Okay, well this is uh, this is Alexis' sleeping arrangements for the night. He is too panicked. He can hear the banging. So Alexi was planning to have a bottle of beer in peace and quiet in a safe house. And of course there's a zombie right on the door. <laughs> but it looks like he's going to have to have a beer just to calm his nerves. But man, is it is dark. Oh, that is not going to help his nerves. Alexi's not actually tired, so let's just do a quick perimeter and make sure it's safe. I think we're not going to get disturbed again tonight. There's no more zombies within sight outside, and that window is barricaded. Now is the time. It's time for a bottle of beer, and then we're going to try and get some sleep. Okay, well, somehow Alexis made it through the night. He heard footsteps, he heard gurgles. He was, I mean, something. It just seemed like something was going to happen, but we're okay. We made it through the night. We can actually see what is going down. Man, it was so dark. Alexis really, ooh. That is a really nice reward for all of that risk. Let's go upstairs and see what Alexi was so scared of. Okay, it's just a really small corridor and there's probably just one zombie. Oh, man, it was so dark, I just could not see what was up ahead. Okay, we've got some vitamins. Kind of hoping for something a little bit more interesting than that. But we made it through the night. Alexi is safe. He's still in one piece. Let's move on. Let's move out of here. Okay, well, would you believe it? But Alexi found a box of 12 gauge shotgun shells in the kitchen cupboard of all places. So that is, that is something that Alexi might be able to use at some point. Now, there's really nothing here in the city of clean now he's put it all behind him he's literally burned it down to the ground but he doesn't have any supplies he doesn't have any food he doesn't have well he kind of like to stock up on his alcohol so 
Let's check out some of the nearby houses. Hopefully we can find some really useful loot before we finally put the city of clean behind us. Okay, well the neighbors, this is the neighbor's house. It is absolutely huge and it's also got a brick wall all the way around it. it could really be potentially quite a of loot there, but we're gonna to need to do a little bit of fighting first. Well, you know what? It looks like that Alexis stumbled across a real nice part of town. There are some big looking houses here and they've all got uh, brick walls all the way around. Ooh, that was close. So uh, we could actually get some really, really awesome loot here. Okay, so Alexis done a quick perimeter check to make sure there's no big hordes anywhere in the garden. This is a nice place. It is a nice place, but Where's the drinks cabinet? <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find. Okay, well, Alexi can find a very, very, very big kitchen in terms of the cupboards. And uh, we'll just have to eat whatever we find at the moment. Okay, well, Alexi's been really lucky. We found some crackers, some canned sardines, two cans of ham. That will keep Alexi going right through until the afternoon. No alcohol though. Okay, well that is the main house search. Not much there, but we did find a picture of Jesus. I mean, Alexi will take all the help he can get at the moment. We got a, we were looking for a battery, but we found the next best thing, a hand torch with a battery. So yeah, I do not want to experience that blundering around it in the dark again, not knowing if there's a zombie right in front of me. Let's check out the neighbors because it is absolutely massive. Okay, it seems pretty quiet in there. It does sound like that there is a zombie just upstairs. But other than that, it is pretty quiet. So let's get inside. Okay, well, I found the kitchen. Let's hope we can find. Yes, there we are. Another little bit of food. Okay, well, Alex is just picking out on a whole carton of cereal. And we've got another can of potatoes. No beer though, no beer. The more Alexis is thinking about it, the thirstier he starts to get. Now this is a big garage. Who knows what we can find? Oh well, there we go. It's not 100%, but we definitely need a couple of batteries in reserve. Okay, nothing much really in the garage at all. I don't see the point in going upstairs. Do you see the point in taking out this zombie though? Okay, let's get back to the truck and let's get the hell out of here. Okay, well Lex is back on the main road and he's just noticed this gas station. So he's just going to pull up a little bit outside, just behind it. And we've got a gas station employee here. And we want to get in there, we want to see if there's any smokes, any junk food that could be really useful loot. I doubt there'll be beer, but you never know. Well, Alex is starting to wonder if he should maybe find a slightly quieter vehicle. Because there is a constant stream of zombies following him whenever he drives anywhere. Man, this guy looks cool. I want that. I want his outfit. He looks awesome. And Alexis is just going to upgrade his leather jacket. It looks going to look much cooler. Let's see what that crash helmet looks like as well. I kind of like it. It's not expected, but I kind of like it. Let's get in this gas station and let's hopefully fill up with junk food. Okay, well, the place is locked up tight, so let's see if we can uh, get the old paper clip out. And pick the lock. Alexi is getting good at this. Another door opened. And here was a zombie somewhere. Or was it just the wind? It was just the wind. These shelves look well stocked. Yes, look at that. That is amazing. That is a lot of food. Oh man, look at that. Let's get a loot bag and let's fill it up. Okay, well that is exactly... Well, Alexi was hoping to find cigarettes and matches. Man, he could really do with a beer. Okay, look at that. Finally, Alexi has found an empty gas can. Finally. That is, oh, a second one. 
That is gonna make it so much easier to siphon gas from vehicles. That really opens up a whole new load of opportunities for Alexi, but that is this place cleaned out. You can see the shelves are empty and Alexi is walking out of here with a lot, and I mean a lot of junk food, but he is tired. That beer at midday is making him drowsy. It has been a very emotional day for Alexi. Let's get in the truck and let's get out of town before it gets dark. Now, would you look at that? Now that, that is very tantalizing. That is very tempting. I don't know if it's a trap because there's a lot of zombies coming in. This truck really is deceptively loud, but there's a really, really nice looking truck there. Unfortunately, there is also quite a lot of zombies. So let's get a chill pill. And let's uh, think about that picture of Jesus. It's gonna protect Alexi. Uh, he's got a lot of work to do. This is this is dangerous. Okay, now Alexis uh, can't really switch to the spear uh, because he's got a loot bag in his off hand. So we're gonna have to go one handed, but short blunt, that is his speciality. Should be pretty clear behind. That's the uh, gas station, not far away. Oh man, that is a lot. This is going to be tricky. Okay, the, the group is getting bigger before Alexi can make it smaller with his uh, police baton. But he's got to remember not to run. He just can't risk running with this snow. He could slip, he could be all over in seconds. There's a lot of zombies moving in. This is going to take a while. This is dangerous. Okay, well, it sounds like some of the zombies have got caught up on the uh, gas station. And I think Alexi's got this. But man, it's getting dark. Uh, let's just hope. Let's just go around the corner. We don't want to have any surprises. Let's make this quick. Hey, okay, well, Alexi is slowly. Whittling down the numbers, we've still got a lot of work to do, but he's put down a good dozen or so. Just five or six to go. Okay, just three to go now. The wind is picking up. Maybe there's a storm rolling in. Let's hope Alexi can get back to the safety of his house in the rural community before it gets dark, before the snow gets heavier. There's always a challenge. There's always something out to get, Alexi. If it's not the zombies, it's the snow. So Alexi is pretty satisfied that the area is clear. Now this was what caught Alexi's eye. Now was it worth all that fighting? Wow. Wow, we got a trunk. Uh, well, let's keep the time. We got a trunk at 600. Let's check out the condition. I would like to swap it out. That other truck that, ooh, that is, that is beautiful. That is a lot of green. That looks beautiful. And does it have it even has a battery it doesn't have any gas but we got a gas can now so it's going to be so much easier well we've got another upgrade i've not been convinced with that other truck it seems loud and also as soon as it gets above fourth gear it sounds like the engine's going to fall out and so this yeah it's we're going to upgrade to this one let's get it hot wide let's get the gas in okay well the vehicle's finally hot wide alexi kind of I mean, it took him maybe like 20 goes to get that vehicle hot wired. I hope that doesn't mean that he's completely ruined the engine. Let's let's get a little bit of gas in and see if it starts. And let's listen to let's see how it sounds. Okay, well it started first time. It certainly sounds like a van, so I don't know if it's if it's going to be quiet. So it might even be louder. But look how big. That carry capacity is at the back. This is Alexis' new vehicle, 600 carry capacity. Uh, let's let's transfer over all of the loot bags. Uh, let's siphon all the gas. And uh, we got another upgrade. We got another upgrade. Okay, so that's everything transferred from the one vehicle to the other. I'm liking that upgrade, uh, but. It, it's, it's a big tank. We're going to try and siphon off some gas from nearby vehicles. Maybe we'll be lucky. Okay, well, I kind of feel like Alexi's overstaying his welcome. That is for sure. It is really starting to get dark and he's got a long drive to get home. But now the power 
is gone. The power is completely gone. There's no more blackouts and the power coming back on. Power, electricity, lights, it's just a thing of the past. So gas has now become a more precious resource. And so it's worth taking the time to search the nearby area. Okay, you know what? Alexi is a little bit spooked. There's huge tower blocks all around him. Any moment there could be a massive hoard on his ass. So let's get the hell out of here. We got enough gas to get home. We got a gas station near to the rural community, his safe house, his home. And uh, we got a generator. So we do have a source of gas and Alexi is, yeah, starting to get panicked. He does not like the dark. Let's get back to the truck and let's finally put the city of clean behind us. Well, I gotta say I like this vehicle. The headlights um, give a huge area of illumination. The, the vehicle is a lot more. Ooh, there's another gas station. No, let's not do it. Let's not do it. Let's keep going. Let's get out of here. It's a lot more maneuverable. It has started first time both times. Uh, can't really do much about the driving. Gonna go on the other side of the road just to see what is there, but I, as I don't know what is there, it is possible that I could get stuck. So let's just retrace steps. Let's go back the way we came. We know this this way is clear. Okay, but it looks like this this truck's gonna have to take quite a bit of damage before we get out of here, because we're going back the same way. We're running into a lot of zombies because they've been attracted by that loud vehicle from before there's a lot this this thing is going to be absolutely blood splattered before we get back home okay now we're right on the edge of town this is maybe a bad idea but Alexis seen some sort of market and he wants to check it out he wants to check it out for beer I mean this is just probably absolutely insane but what will a guy like Alexi do for a beer? He will certainly risk his life by the look of it. Okay, but Alexi's trying to thrive on uh, the panic because that's that's overriding his tiredness. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know what's going to be worse, being tired or being absolutely panicked out of your mind. We'll go with the panicked out of your mind for now. We've got a lot of work to do. There's going to be a lot of zombies coming into the area. Uh, yeah, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Okay, well, Alexis managed to build up quite a fan club. There is a lot of zombies on his ass right now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, but yeah, the way ahead looks pretty clear. So I think this is worth trying to do. Let's try and take down this horde. And hopefully, we can get a reward for all of that risk. Okay, well, Alexis decided that he needs to have a little bit of control. Uh, so we've taken the beta blocker, and of course the tiredness is kicked in. So we're going to have a tea bag as well. We need to get Alexi in tip-top shape. Because he's going to have a lot of fighting to do. Oh, wow. Okay, Alexi kind of ran out. Yeah, he kind of lost track of just how many zombies there are. And that spear lasted for about two hits hmm. now is the decision time does Alexi stay and fight or does he just run back to his truck and get the hell out of here okay we're gonna give it a try I mean it, there's too many zombies for that beta blocker to actually be effective and it is dark hmm. we don't have to fight every zombie right we don't have to fight every zombie Let's see if we can round these zombies up and see if we can lose them in some way. Okay, so we got quite a quite a conga line of zombies. Now, Alexi remembered uh, that, it, yeah, a running is not good. So trying to lose them is it's going to be tricky. So I think this is just too risky. Uh, we got a bottle of bourbon at home. Let's just drink that. This is not worth Alexi's life. Let's get the hell out of here. And this car started first time, every other time. Man, I was starting to get a little bit worried then. Maybe we'll be back, but let's get the hell out of here. We want Alexi to live to fight another day. We don't want him to die of uh, his need for alcohol. 
Okay, well, Alexei finally leaves the city of Clean behind. And man, he hopes he never comes back. Well, Alexei has made it safe and sound back to the rural community. Every time he comes back to this place, it starts to feel a little bit more like home. Uh, it has been a tough two days for Alexei. He's feeling tired and emotional. As always, there is a welcoming committee. We got three zombies to take care of. There is just no peace for Alexei at all. He is having to fight for his life constantly. Can he keep it up? How can he put up with it? Who knows? That is gonna have to be it for today. I really hope you all enjoyed. Alexei's got more work to do though. Next up. It's the family home. It's Dolgoprodny. He's going to craft up some more Molotovs. That's the only way. It's the only way. Smash that like button, comment, sub if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date with when the next episode hits. There's still many more chapters of Alexis' story to write. Peace.